All right, folks, we're here. WAW Aftermath. Bearing any snow? Well, it's snow no matter what, every single day. Oh, it must be day. Saturday. It's oh, it must be a basket. day. God damn snow. I was trapped in friggin', you know, up in Maine for like weeks on end because of the snow. But you know what? I digress. Next week is Lord of the Ring 2015. I heard Buck is going to try to win it all. Not happening. Nope, but you know what? We got this. Uh, we're going to take it to the ring because we got so much to get through tonight before we can even get to Lord of the Ring. Ugh. Pete's ready? Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Welcome to WAW Aftermath! Woo! Now I'll have a few words from the Vice President of WAW. <laughs> a few words. Stay through! You act like he's long-winded or something. Let's be honest, St. Jarello really can't catch a breath, so it can't be any type of wind. Well, he's winded right now. He's going to walk down the ring. He's going to sing. Karaoke world champion. Seven years in a row. Hey, you have to lose plenty of weight. It's all right, Pete. Don't worry. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WAW Aftermath! We have a great show for you tonight. However, I'm not out here to talk about tonight. I'm out here to talk about next week. You see, next week is our largest event of the year. If Legacy is the biggest, Lord of the Ring is the largest. And he is an authority on large things. We have three championship matches. Three. The WNW Championship between Andreas Reyes Yay. and Derek Conway. Yay! You guys are killing me. Shut up. Like, at, at least a yay. Yay! There we go! Yay! A tag team championship match between Helter Skelter. Oh. That's much better. Oh. Between Helter Skelter and the legendary BTP. Oh. Now, on to the Lord of the Ring. Oh. Yes. The Lord of the Ring match will have over 30 competitors. Over 30. Do we have 30? We're doing a roll count right now. Over 30. We're going to have to dig up some people It's fast. past and present. All right. Tell you what, I'm not going to do it. Pete is. Pete is. I can't say how many. It's a 30. It'll be a surprise. So, to address the Lord of the Ring, our largest match of the year, that... The winner of the Lord of the Ring match will then go on to Legacy to face the champion in a championship match. That the new sky's blue. Woo! You guys are really killing me tonight. Come on. Like, let's get excited! Everybody was all pumped up when I said WNW Aftermath, and then you died. Come on! Maybe this will get you excited. As much as I do. Now, I'm sure all of you are wondering, what about Pyro and the Pure Ch Championship? <laughs> Unfortunately, we do not have a challenger for the Pure title. So what to do with it? I'll tell you what, Pyro will also be in the Lord of the Ring match and have an opportunity to go on to Legacy. That's snow emergency? What is that? Are they plowing the roads? Right What's going on? It, it's a snow emergency. Did fallout? No. You had to say fallout, didn't you? It's one member of fallout. Wow. Damn. What is wrong with him? Oh, he seems unhinged. You? More than usual. Since we're talking about Lord of the Ring, I would like to officially announce 
my entrance into the Lord of the Ring match. Kevin Chaos, you said that I'm not worth your time. Well, guess what? I've got an idea of how to make things worth your time. Because I'm going to enter the Lord of the Ring match. I'm going to enter the Lord of the Ring match. Then I'm going to toss each and every one of the number of entrants that would not be announced out of this ring. I'm going to go on to Legacy. I am going to win the WAW Championship for a sixth time. And then I'm going to grant Kevin Chaos a title match anytime, anywhere, any stipulation he wants. So Kevin, I may not be worth your time right now, but I'm going to be worth your time in just one week when I win the Lord of the Ring, and then in two months when I win the WAW Championship. So Kevin, I hope you come to Legacy because that's the night you get a title shot. Bye. Shut up! You shut up! You suck! Since I'm making a thing recently of uh, calling people out who are shells of their former selves, how about we talk about Sage Cirillo, a, a, a shell of his former self. Look at how much weight this guy has dropped. Thank you. Give it up for Sage. I appreciate that. And that's the problem. You look for approval. You're looking for the adulation of these people. What happened to the Sage Cerullo that I remember? I'm sitting backstage and I'm listening to you talk about Lord of the Ring like you actually care what these people have to I say. I do care what oh, these people have to say. You do. And I can tell. I All see. that matters is what these people have to say. Really? What matters is what they have to say. Well, yeah, I, I can tell because I'm sitting here listening to you fumble over your Lord of the Ring advertisements talking about championship matches and talking about battle royals. Yay, Sage! Yay. I know in your heart you're a villain just like I am. And you can never keep the villainous side down because the villainous side always works its way back up. And then you spew your venom all over the place. You stop caring what these people think. You start caring about Still which way is going to be the fastest to the top here in WAW. I remember a sage that used to care about that. I remember a sage that beat one of my biggest nemesis in four seconds. It was undefeated against him for a number of years. I remember the sage Sorello that used to beat anybody in his path. Use his way to get you go ahead. You go ahead and you try to keep that villain aside down. But just know, it's going to work its way back up. And when it works its way back up, you're not going to be able to stop it. But if you think you can stop it, try and stop it. Next week is that Marvel beating his game. A lot of rings about ready to cut his head. You know, I, I mean, I just want to point out Sage Zarello's face on this. That he's, I mean, he's caught. But you know what? Speaking as a guy who's a self-proclaimed asshole, and I've never changed since I've been here. He makes a damn good point. You can't now hide we're done with the interruptions. Let's get back to tonight. And I want to announce that I have a special guest referee, oh, we got a surprise. Michael James! Holy cow, what? I am your You're going to have Michael James enforce the rules? What an awful idea. What the hell are you thinking? Rules. You know how he's going to enforce the rules? His right and left leg, they're law and order. Right? You got to think about that, boss man. There's nothing to think about. Oh, you know there is. Tonight's opening contest, we saw it in a single smash for rules. And it's scheduled for one fall, a time of 15 minutes. In reverse, accompanied by Evil Lee, hailing from Atlanta, Georgia. She is Bianca Wild, the team champions. How does got her? Well, 
if you know it, but, well, you look outside, it's probably snowing when you're watching this, let's be honest. It's a little preview yeah! of what we're gonna see next week at Lord of the Rings. Entering yeah. second, accompanied by Chris Shady from Walla Walla, Washington. He is Big Money Puma and the Big Top Players. Here we go. <laughs> oh. Yo, man, man, come early. What the hell's going on? I don't know. I think I just heard a cow in the audience, though. Look at that hair. I love the hair. It is beautiful hair. God damn. guys. You got the, I mean these guys re, they, what? I don't know, like they reborn the monsters. The monsters. What the hell am I talking about? What are you talking about? I got, at the church today we had a card tournament so I'm still thinking about that. It was, you go to church on Saturday? What the hell are you? My church is open all the damn time. Buck, you were there, you were in the soup kitchen getting free soup. Why is my chair so low? You're confusing me for all the homeless in this town. It looks similar, but it's not me. Fuck, it was you. You had that damn dog. He's got the other beard, and he's got dog in his head, he's got fingers gloves, that means me. Fuck, you had a cane that says, I'm Buck the Rock. Some people do anything to get money. No! Get the hell out of my soup kitchen. All right, so here you, of course. Oh, well, I'm going for a mic. What's going on here? Hey, hey, Puma, you know how you said you're going to show how to treat a lady? Well, you know, besides... Oh, bitch. Well, besides that, I have probably bigger balls than you and also. Today, I'm going to make you my bitch. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm not going to point out where those balls are. No need. Oh, no. Oh, don't forget your brother's scummy. Oh. Oh. Don't worry. That was all me. So uh, we got the uh, little preview Here of the team go. match. He just did the blue the uh, maiden call right there. We got a tie up. Hey, what was she thinking there? Bianca Wall is a former competitor. You know this. You've been beat by her plenty of times. Did you say former competitor? No, formidable. Oh, all right. Did I not get the whole word out? Former competitor is all me. Right. <laughs> formidable competitor is her. All right. But you're not going to be able to match big money. You don't Puma's want to lock power. horns with a Puma. Wait, do Pumas have horns? I think I'm making stuff up to go. That's fine. I do it every single week I'm at this table. Just don't tell anyone. We can edit that, right? I think I'm thinking of a rhino, not a Puma. The same animal with horns, and that's Puma. Oh god! Wow! Using Puma's own strength against them, getting a monkey flip. Monkey flip on a Puma! I've seen it happen. It's Monkey Island games, they're fantastic. Fucking Jumanji all up in there. Oh, really? Oh, Bianca Wild, tripping on the apron. It's unfortunate. I'm not sure that's how it works in a singles yeah, match. Yeah, I think she's still inside. So, and um, he's dancing, but Eva Lee is uh, kind of dead. Oh, rake in the eye. What are you talking about? He's helping her Was out. Was that really necessary with the eye raking, though? I don't know what he's talking about. It's going to be It my eyes, too. It must be the dust in the air. I think Cliché is commentating more of this match than we are. No, it's just funny to listen to him. He means I, I can't help it. He's so... Bianca Wild should not be doing a test of strength yeah. with Big Money Puma. Once again, locking horns with the Puma. Not a good idea. Nope. We've learned this already. That's just... <laughs> Reversal, though. <laughs> Bending them back. That ain't happening. That ain't happening. Not in this lifetime. Big knee to her uh, bread basket. Headlock. Crank it back on it. Oh. Right, part her head right off. Go ahead. She's not a Barbie doll. Wait for that cheap wig she's wearing to pop off. 
just waiting for it. Bianca Wild is not wearing a wig. Of course she is. It's messed up. You think those pigtails are real? Yes. Totally fake. You clip right on. I know it. Wow, we're not talking about the freaking hair clips that you got, man. Big uh, shots right below the heart. Big money thrown into the ropes. Bianca Wild, go! Oh, oh, man. That was, he was on the ropes. Take advantage, off the ropes goes Big Money. Show the block to Big uh, Bianca Wild. He's gonna run down. Trample under the hooves of the Puma. What, the Pumas have hooves? Puma? I don't know what a Puma is. They I'm, have I'm, paws, it's a big cat. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, You're a friggin' crazy cat lady. You have a bunch of cats. It's true. I'm, I'm on page now, all right. All right. No horns, no hooves. Bianca Wild getting picked up. Drop down and off the ropes. Oh, Prius! Period! This thing is over! Man, it's count it! You can count to 100. I don't know if James can't. Take really? Sweet ass time. One, One two, two, three, four, five. Chris Shady. I'm not sure what, what the Shady's hell is doing. he on tonight. Why isn't he sharing it? He should probably pull up his pants, though. No, it's a little something for the ladies. And look at that. Shady on the outside, but he's not paying attention to his partner who's getting Shady's whooped. He's so excited. He's so excited. Pushes him into the ropes. So excited. Oh, oh, oh my what God. What a forearm. What a shot. Oh, oh, really? Blew his hair right off. One, two. How hard do you have to hit somebody and knock their hair off? That was like the time your hair plugs fell out. It was Good hilarious. Lord. When did that happen? My hair is like hair. Hair. Sir. He knocked his hair out. That's a great, really? Oh, oh, oh. Shady. Shady just made the new booper reel. It looks like Puma's focusing more on the damn wig than he is the match. Well, we're all focused on shooting more than the match. Let's be honest. How can we not? One, two, and I am a professional, sir. And I am calling the match at hand. Oh, shit, there's a match going on. I didn't realize. I am a professional, and I do as I am told. Like the time I was in Afghanistan getting shot at. Wait, what? It, it was with Brian Williams. Oh, all right, that happened. Of course it happened. It was, a, it was coverage of a very lethal war, right? Oh! Someone told Sage uh -oh. his life. Shot's fine! Oh! Drops him down! Again, blowing his hair off. One! One! Two! two. Oh! Thought he had him. That was a complete shot. What is he doing? I have no idea. Don't ask me to get in Crochet's head right now. Oh, Evil Lee doesn't know what he's Evil Lee is looking on. And Shady slipped the belt. Who's about to unleash oh. his Bang! Uh oh. Uh oh. That's it. What just happened? Top of his hand in the cookie jar. The beat down continues, too. Jack Wild, what's the winner? Do this qualification. Disqualification right there. Who want to unleash his claws? Wait, who's the claws, right? Yes. All right, all right, I got that one. I'm one for one, baby. That's good. One for one. It's like yeah. one for like 25 tonight. It's not even the, over the first match is still going on. Sorry, man. I'm just high as Christian right now. I can help it. Look at it. It's looking good. It's looking good. Big tough players lose by disqualification. You know, as good as big top players are, right. if they pull any of these shenanigans or antics next week at the Lord of the Ring, they're not walking out with the team championships. It, that, it, that's the facts. Got to leave the claws. Jeez. At least one week. Really? Get off the claws. All right, you know what you can do if you're sitting at home? Click the next link and come on back to WAW Aftermath.